I got hit with a can of soda yesterday. Luckily, it was only a soft drink. <laughs> <laughs> that one was from Russ Morgan, and don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're talking a little bit about IPTV. And yes, another one has been taken down, but this one's a little bit different. So I'm quickly going to show you in this video, but I also want to know your thoughts on this, so do comment down below. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack up. Right, so like I said, I do want to know your opinions on this, because this is the main reason I am doing this video. I want to know what the streaming community thinks of this as a whole. Right, so I do want to apologise about my hair. I did get in the shower yesterday, but I did do something a little bit different. Once I'd finished in the shower, I combed my hair backwards, and then I've woke up this morning, and honestly, it's, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> and I can't get it back down, so I will be going to the hairdressers for those that... Some people do seem to get stressed out with hair, and I don't know why, so that's just a quick explanation. It's explanation. <laughs> That's just a quick explanation about my hair. But yes, back on this IPTV bollocks, right. About on the 1st of July, Torrent Freak. Torrent Freak are the main place for your streaming news. They're there first and they know pretty much everything and they've got sources everywhere. Now, I'll quickly put their article up now. And on the 1st of July, they did post about an IPTV service that was raided by law enforcement in the UK. Now, yes, this is quite a common thing to happen now when it comes to streaming and distributing it, content that you don't own the rights to. But if you do scroll down a little bit more, you can see this is a little bit different. The operation came from Suffolk Police, and what they've done, they've actually put a message onto the IPTV service, so any users using that service can't see any channel, well, any live content anymore. They're just greeted with this message that I can show you now. So as you can see, this illegal stream has been seized by Norfolk and Suffolk Police. Watching illegal broadcasts is a crime. Your IP address has been recorded. You are instructed to cease and desist immediately from all illegal media streaming. Now, this is very different to anything we have seen before. The only messages we usually see are from such as Fact, which are an anti-piracy firm that work with all the big broadcasters. And usually if you try visiting a website or an app, you'll just get a message from them and it'll direct you to their website telling you where you can go and watch it. But seeing one from the actual police is a bit different. But the concerning thing that you see here is your IP address has been recorded. Now, I am going to get into in a second, I don't think this is going to affect users at all. But to avoid your IP address from being recorded, simple thing is to use a VPN. Now I'll put links in the description down below to my recommended VPNs that I think work the best, but you can also visit my website letscrackon.org and in the download section you will see a list of free VPNs that you can use. Now if you do try using a free VPN make sure you read through the policies and the terms and things because using a free VPN Nothing's ever free, especially when it comes to data. Data is now more valuable than gold. I know it's crazy. So we don't know if they sell your data on your personal information, anything like that. But they are free to use for people who aren't prepared to pay for a premium VPN. Now, there were a lot of speculation around it and people were thinking that this, is, this message has come from the IPTV provider saying that they've been seized, but using this as a way to stop trading altogether and to stop that service and just do a runner with the money. But it has been confirmed that this is official and it is Norfolk and Suffolk Police that has actually taken it down. And the name of the service is Global or Global Entertainment. So if that is a service you've ever used, let me know in the comments section down below. So like I said, this news, it got posted at the beginning of July, but now we're starting to see the big newspapers in the UK actually writing about it. You know it's kind of legitimate, but they are using it as the K-word, K-O-D-I. I can't say it on videos because YouTube don't like it, but they are like targeting more towards the K-word than the actual service itself. They're actually titling it, K-O-D-I, shut down, and then telling you what they're threatening to do. But yes, when it comes to logging your IP addresses and things like that, and staying protected with a VPN, all that bollocks, this really isn't a sales pitch, at the bottom of the post, it's saying the fact chief executive here in Sharp said, this is a warning to anyone engaged in selling subscriptions or devices that allow access to content without re... I don't know what that says. Remunerate, remunerating, I don't know, I do apologise. <laughs> the legitimate provider. It's not a grey area and you risk a criminal conviction. Fact works closely with broadcasters and rights owners who employ 
a variety of techniques to identify the original source of illegal content. And then it says if you come across any content that you think isn't right or it is illegal to contact them, they do work with crime stoppers and law enforcement and shit like that. But the main thing I was looking at there is it says this is a warning to anyone engaged in selling subscriptions or devices. Now this doesn't say anything about users. Now a big point around this, I've seen a few things on it, a lot of people are saying your IP address has been logged, they've got it, you've got to wait now to see what they're going to do with it. Maybe they have given a cease and desist and if you do carry on streaming illegally then you may get a warning, you may get a fine. But we've not really seen this before and I can't see that happening. But we will have to wait and see for that in the future. And that's why I want to know your opinions in the comments section down below. But whenever we come back to this, it's always the source of where the content is coming from that is being targeted by these anti-piracy firms. But yeah, just let me, I'd, like I said, I just want to do a quick video on this just to let you know what is happening. It's a long time since we've done a relaxed video like this, just talking about a topic but the main reason for doing it is to know what you're thinking and to know what your opinion is right if you see my eyes go that way instead of looking at you they look that way because i'm looking at my hair and i can't get it look at it flakes it's never been that look at it i look like i need to wear a straight jacket right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Sarah.